As promised, here's a little video about the uh, plastic case production of the Pyra. Unfortunately, it's not possible to really look into the machine and see the plastic flow into the mold. But I will show you uh, basically how it works, what we did, what the problems are, what the results are, a bit of stuff like that. So what you see here is uh, the negative part of the mold. You can clearly see the holes where the plastic flows in and how the mold would be filled with plastic. Basically the two sides of the mold close, then plastic flows in, then it opens again and then the parts fall out. To replace the mold um, a crane is needed because these are very very heavy. So for example you can see here how this mold is being removed. Then a new mold is being attached to the crane. Then the mold will be put back into the machine using the crane. Properly secured and then it's ready for the next production. One very important thing is that each mold needs a lot of different perimeters properly set up. Stuff like preheating the mold, the pressure of the plastic, or how hot the plastic should be in each ejection point if you have multiple ones. And there are a lot of different parameters you can tweak here. And it changes the outcome drastically. Not only how it looks like, sometimes even the plastic flow is not complete. Unfortunately, almost all of our molds have not very well chosen injection points. So we have a lot of discolorizations. We were trying to fix it with some molds. For example, you can see here how the channel for the plastic injection is being changed on the lid mold. Didn't help though, we still have some plastic discolorization. Um, it's worse than in the final unit with this plastic because the plastic we were using here, the color we were using was not the proper one. What you can see here are the color palettes. So if you add a few of these palettes to the plastic, then you've got color plastic. And you don't really need a lot of them. Just take a look at how few color palettes are in here. <laughs> and that's the plastic that comes out of it. A totally orange. For color you don't need a lot of palettes. And usually you need to buy at least 70 kg of these palettes. Which explain why you can't simply choose any color because you'd need to stock a lot of palettes. So here's a look at the Pyra we assembled from the uh, test run. It works properly, everything that's physically needed works correct. The only thing that will be changed is that we add some holes for ventilation right below the USB port where the heatsink is. The shoulder buttons are working fine now. Everything in this case is as it should be. You can assemble it, shoulder buttons work out of the box. Physically it's correct. Don't mind the little issues you can see right now because we, we didn't clean up the plastic properly so you can see some plastic rests at the case where there shouldn't be any. That won't happen with the mass production. This is just because we only made a few samples and uh, probably not all parameters were treated properly to the machine right now. So that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the little video and well, we'll see you later.